Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. This video is actually part of a much larger video called Air Conditioner Capsized Lockout Tagout Bad Breaker. Something like that in the title. I'm going to you know, have to do a little editing and make it better. But on this one, what I wanted to show you is how to test air conditioner disconnect boxes for the proper voltage. Now, there's a lot of different types of disconnect boxes out there. Each one has its own little perks and works and how it functions. I'll try to go into it a little bit, what my favorite ones are and uh, different types. But anyway, here's the video. High voltage is dangerous as always. Uh, we're going to switch to volts AC here on our meter and we're going to peek behind our deal here. power should come in on the sides and then it's transferred down so we'll go to ground and then we'll test here for see if we got 110 we got 120 there and then we'll go to the other one on the other side look at that yeah it's 17 so we got a brad breaker inside uh we'll go check that in the next step yeah, so this one the breaker was bad and, and even the breaker next to it was bad it had uh, pulled high amps and uh, you know just kind of a bad situation so I had to change those out uh, again I show that more in uh, you know more detail in the video on uh, bad breaker but uh, you might check that one out anyway back to the disconnect box on the testing Okay, so now testing for our voltage. We're going to set it on volts AC. And again, we're looking for 120 on both sides. And we can also look for 220 going to both of them together. Here's our 120 on that side. 120 on that side. Uh, yeah. 120 on that side. 120 on this side. And then if we go together, we should get 220. There we go, 240. We're good, okay. So now we can put our cover back in. Tighten that in. Yep, that does uh, win a little crispy. Yeah, so back to the different types of disconnects. My favorite types of disconnects have the fuses in the in the pull portion of the disconnect. You pull it out, the fuses are now in the portion that you've pulled out. This makes it very clear that it's disconnected from the power. There's no chance that by touching the fuses that you're going to get electrocuted. I really don't like the ones where you have a disconnect, you pull the the pull portion, and it's only a metal plate that separates uh, from the fuses. Uh, the fuses are still in the box and uh, just much more dangerous. You know, some things to watch for with disconnects is they can be miswired. If someone miswires where the the uh, disconnect is hooked up and the whip to the air conditioner, that's the cord that goes to the air conditioner is hooked up. If they reverse those, you wouldn't think it happens, but it does happen. Or maybe you would think it does happen <laughs> anyway. Uh, you know, there's the old saying, trust but verify. Well, when it comes to, you know, 220 volts and air conditioning, you know, distrust and verify uh, is, is what I'd say. You know, it's just too risky. It's your life and it's worth double checking things and making sure. So uh, one way to do this is to look at where the whip is from the air conditioner, the cord, and then trace those wires back and look at where they're running to. Um, you know, mostly on these, the power is coming in at the sides and that's where you can check it from. And again, you can see that the whip is connected to the bottom on this one and that's how it should be. Uh, but different stuff out there all the time. So it just pays to verify, uh, a non-contact voltage tester is always a good idea to verify there's no power, uh, going through there. Uh, some setups you actually have to go in and turn the breaker off to change the fuses or to tighten the fuse connections. 
uh, squeeze them down a little bit. Uh, you know, different again. That's why I like the types of disconnect where you can pull the whole fuse is out of the wall and the fuse is in the portion that you pulled out of the wall because then if you need to squeeze it down there's no question that it's not connected to constant voltage or constant uh, you know power going through their current so uh, just kind of my favorite setup if I'm gonna pull if I'm gonna pick which disconnect to install I'm gonna pick one that has the fuses in the portion that is pulled out most residential setups are 220 volts or 240 volts and uh, so that's why I covered that here you know if you're in commercial settings or something bigger your voltage can actually be different so uh, I didn't really cover that here but uh, the same principle applies for testing uh, the disconnect box it's just a little bit different and uh, anyway uh, this is this is all dangerous you know use the information at your own risk don't touch anything unless you absolutely know what you're doing be on the lookout for the full more in-depth video air conditioner bad breaker lockout tag out coming soon thanks for watching Kung Fu maintenance out to spare you some troubles headache and money and have some fun in the process thanks for watching once again, all this stuff is very dangerous, high voltage, moisture, uh, you know, the sharp edges, all of this mix makes for a very dangerous situation. Don't touch anything unless you absolutely know what you're doing. You need to know what you're doing to do it right and, you know, it's better to hire someone than wind up crispy, cut up, bruised up, and uh, fried. So anyway, he don't want to be that guy anyway thanks for watching be safe stay cool